Hey, Villa 61 TRS in its June, I think 17, 2023. I will tell you something. If you're looking for a true luxury experience, TRS, the Royal Suites here at TRS Yucatan. Now, as I've said many times, my first experience with the Palladium Hotel Group was TRS Yucatan Grand Palladium Riviera Maya. Golly, six years ago? It's maybe seven, I forget. And that's when I really fell in love with the all-inclusive resort experience. And as I've said a hundred times, I'm fair skinned, right? So my wife, Marty, wants me to stay out of the sun as much as possible. And so with the lush, the only word I can think of is jungle atmosphere, but this lush flora and fauna, let's put it that way. I'm able to stay out of, stay out of the sun and it's just a nice, experience, atmosphere. Then there are so many paths around TRS and uh, the Grand Palladium Resorts. And just to reset, you know, you got TRS Yucatan, adults only. Then you've got Grand Palladium White Sand. You have Colonial and Kentonal, which is being transformed into a family selection which will be opening in December, from what I understand. And if you look at my video of the family selection at TRS Coral Grand Palladium Costa Mahatas, step up. It's really an amazing experience for families. And if you recall, when you look at my YouTube channel, you'll see the videos of the family selection at uh, Grand Palladium Puerta Vallarta. I was there. Uh, Right there on the first floor, steps from the Nest restaurant, which was, uh, I think, my favorite restaurant there, I'd have to say. But when you say favorite, unfortunately, that, that it, it doesn't degrade the other restaurants. They're all great. All right, now let's look at this. I got to make a note of this because Villa 6162, so I know to hang a left at at this area here. Okay, so when I'm coming back from Helios, I hang a left here. Okay, remember that, Scott. So here's the path, the path over to Helios. Interesting, the word Helios, Google it. Google the word Helios, H-E-L-I-O-S. Google that word, I won't tell you here. You have homework. And uh, also Google <laughs> the river sticks because <laughs> Oh, I do need to maybe see about taking the boat. <coughs> Excuse me, see, taking the boat today, uh, later on today if the boat's running. Yeah, I gotta do that. There's so much stuff, I'm only here for the weekend and uh, at the tail end of this head cold. But, see, so just walk this way here. I wanna thank, again, the Palladium Hotel Group for an amazing experience here. They just do such a great job. And you know, when I start naming staff members, I'll, I'll forget somebody. So thanks to all the staff here. One person I'll mention is Jonathan, because that's my nephew's name. So I can remember, ooh, the birds went right over. Jonathan, he's, that's my nephew's name. So thank you to Jonathan and so many, so many other people, so many, everybody here. And as I'm walking, I'll say, um, what do I want to say? I want to say that cruising, I'll always love cruising. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran. I love being out to sea. However, if you're looking for a, a family experience, see, the thing with cruising, it's kind of crowded, okay? I mean, I'm taking the grandkids on a cruise in August. And the cabins are small. There's going to be a lot of people. They're going to be waiting in line for a guy's burger. And yeah, it'll be fun. But I mean, the swimming pools are bigger here. The 
restaurant. You have more re variety of restaurants here. It's, it's totally different. And that's why I'm so passionate about Palladium Hotel Group and what they provide because I tell you, it's just, it's amazing. Here's the salt water pool down here. It's, it's fed by the ocean. And a friend of mine, Connie, she likes this salt water pool. It's nice, you know. I, I'm not a big, I don't, you know, as many times as I've been here, it's TRSU, Grand Play, I'm close to my house. I don't think I've gotten in the water once. Now I'll get in a swimming pool. I like getting in a swimming pool or like that, but um, I'm not real big in getting in there. All right, so as I'm coming this way, it's about uh, 6 a.m. here, I think. And, you know, I always like getting up early. I don't like sleeping my vacation away, you know. Las Rocas. They go off down here. Oh, there's the webcam up there. It's the webcam, and you can see webcams. Just search Palladium webcam on um, Google. Oh, about Googling, right? I said Google the word Helios, the River Styx. So I talked about the River Styx, where I said uh, the River Styx here and the River Styx at uh, Grand Palladium Coastal Harris. And yes, there's a rock band by the name of Styx. But that's beside the point. So anyway, people ask me, and I know I've said this before too, what's my favorite resort? Palladium Resort, and it's the one that I'm at at that day, at that moment. But that's a very hard question to answer because the resorts are like your different kids, right? You, you love all your kids. Yeah, you may have a favorite, you don't tell anybody which one is a favorite. They're gonna know, they're gonna know who the favorite is. When they're reading the will, then they're going to know who the favorite is. Uh, speaking of that uh, TV show on HBO Max, uh, Succession. And they say it's based on the Murdochs of Fox News. What a show, what a show. Dad, titan of media, and kids kind of fighting over the inheritance. And whew, it's da Remember the TV show Dallas? Back in the day, a J.R. Ewing, remember that? Shows you how old I am, right? I love that TV show, Dallas. Well, it's Dallas on steroids. And uh, so here we are over here at Helios. Alfresco dining, if you, if you wish. And... Even though it's been a short stay here, I, I flew. Uh, let me do a little commentary on the airport. Airport though. Flew out of Orlando 7 a.m. this past Thursday the 15th. Breezed right through TSA with MCO reserve. Had a great tailwind coming down here, so got me 40 minutes early. And they had the E gates. They have the E gates down here. So, now you, if you got people under 18, can't go through the E-gates. But if you're like, an, you know, adults, you can go through there, put your passport down, you're off to the races. The problem is you gotta wait for your bags and it can, you know, I get to be impatient, ask my wife. I get to be impatient and uh, it's like, come on, come on, come on. And you're waiting for the bags and they finally come and BD Experiences, that is the vendor for travel club folks. And the person was right there, directed me to the correct person. And I was, I was in the van within minutes. And because it was so, because the thing is about traffic, right? They're doing construction and coming in that early, like, you know, 9 a.m., starting to head south. It really uh, was quick getting down here. And of course, let's kind of pivot over here a minute. <clears throat> so not a, not a far walk from the 
going 51, 2. Ah, now we're going to do something right now. It's early in the morning. Now let me pivot to let, let you know where I am. Or I'll pan, that's the correct term, okay? Helios. Come on back over here. Come over here. Now, I'm gonna ask you, what am I looking for? What am I looking for? You know what I'm looking for. Deck chair hogs. Scott, yeah. What are deck chair hogs? Deck chair hogs are people who wake up at the crack of dawn. Morning, how are you? Deck chair hogs are people who wake up very early. And usually it's the wife who jabs her husband in the ribs. Six in the morning, maybe earlier. Hey, Tom. Yeah, Caitlin. Yes, honey. Honey, can I get you a cup of coffee? Can I get you a toasted bagel with cream cheese? No, Tom. What would you like, Caitlin? Honey, sweetie pie. I love you, Caitlin. I don't want you to go down to the infinity pool. And I want the two chairs right by the water so I can dip my toe in. So you get down there. Yes, Caitlin, right away, my queen. Right away, my princess. Your, your wish is my command. The town dutifully makes a beeline down to whatever pool it is to put a hat or a book or maybe a, a towel, they have a towel clip to clip that towel right here. Maybe put a book right there. Save those deck chairs. Now I say deck chairs because as we say on cruise ships, on cruise ships they have deck chairs. So I just call it, same, it's like when I say the word shore excursion. Shore excursion, that's, that's a cruise term. And a person I know had said, hey Scott, quit using the word shore excursion because people don't get it if you're at the resort. I was like, all right, thanks, appreciate the advice. Over a million views on YouTube, got it. Thank you, appreciate it. <clears throat> so anyway, but no deck chair hogs over here at the infinity, none, none at the, okay, over here, none. Can you believe it? So anyway, and listen, I get it. But the problem is they get down, Tom gets down there at six in the morning, leaves the book, the hat. And um, what happens? Tom goes back to the room, slow cup of coffee, ponder the day. Another slow, very slow cup of coffee. And they're looking in each other's eyes or they're scrolling on Facebook or, you know, whatever they're doing. And then uh, around 1030, they drift down here they want that deck chair. Now, here's an area over here, this deck. Now, I think these are reserved. You know, you can see, and, and Palladium's actually very, let's see here. Reserved for travel club members staying in an ambassador suites, okay? These are reserved for travel club members staying in TRS ambassador suites. Hey, Scott, hey, what? What's travel club? <clears throat> well, the travel club, it's a premium experience. And there's two things you need for the travel club, time and money. Let's say you're a business owner. And you have some trusted friends who are running the company while you're traveling. We have a son. <laughs> like a TV show succession. You have a son or a daughter. Yeah, I like somebody like my daughter, Brittany. Running the company. Running the company while you and the wife after the years of hard labor you get to enjoy the fruit of the labor so you got Brittany back home running the company with a clenched fist and uh, so anyway <laughs> a 
a travel club, there's different levels. It's very detailed. It's very, it's very detailed on the travel club. But just ask for the travel club representatives when you get to the resorts, and they'll be happy to give you a tour, explain the benefits. Now, I will tell you, I'm going to just say this, just I'm going to be transparent, right? You can't go in there uh, without your cup of coffee and without a pen and piece of paper. You, you got you got to first listen to what they're saying and then ask questions. Hey, what kind of rooms do I get? Uh, how many weeks do I get? How many? How much discount? What's the amount of the discount I get? Are there blackout dates? You got to ask a lot, you know, and that's something maybe somebody needs to do is, you know, what are the top 10 questions you need to ask the travel club person? You know, how many weeks? What rooms do I get? Because I know a friend, actually is a very, very close friend of mine. He went under a travel club membership <clears throat> and they went to a resort. And I guess that was the wife who said, hey, can we stay in this room instead of that room? Well, it's not your, the person, the travel club person that you're traveling under, and that's the thing too, a travel club member can um, allow people to travel under his or her membership. And that's kind of a good thing because if they buy, then the member gets a benefit. And of course, they always wanna have more members to share this experience with, right? So being able to travel under somebody else's travel club membership is really cool. It's very good, it really is. It's sharing the love, if you will. So anyway, the only thing I will say, if you do travel under somebody's travel club membership, is be mindful and be respectful of that member. You don't wanna be the person coming down here banging your, your hand on the table saying, hey, you want to be respectful and if you have a question or have a, uh, an ask, ask it you know respectfully and uh, with patience and love and kindness. But anyway, the travel club, it's a great benefit and I, I strongly, strongly recommend it. I really do. But again, there are details that you need to know. So I go back to the story of my friend Hey, we want to stay in that building over there. Well, you're, the person you're traveling under is at this level membership. Well, how do I get to be in that building closer to the beach or closer to X or is a bigger room? Well, go back and talk to your, either you can jump, <laughs> jump in at that level today, sign right here, and you could be in that room tonight. Well, my friend went back to his, the person who's part of the travel club and said, hey, so-and-so, uh, we weren't able to get this room and he was like the guy goes what <laughs> wait a minute so he called and he did find out in fact that his membership only gave himself his wife and the people underneath them a certain um, room room types so he bumped up his membership which cost a few pennies more and uh, now He's at a membership level where have access to pretty much all the rooms in certain weeks. And there's like the details, a lot of details. So I highly recommend uh, Palladium Travel Club. Highly recommend it. All right, I'm going to bounce. Appreciate you walking with me. You know, when I'm talking about Travel Club and those rooms, I'm going to point right up there like clear glass in, on there, on that here in that area. And I think there's a hot tub up there. There's like a spiral staircase in that room that goes up to that glass right there in there in that tower. And that tower over there that doesn't have glass, but there's a, a thing over the top of it. There's like a hot tub up there, so you could be up there and uh, hot tub, which is pretty cool. And then there's rooms that are like swim out or swim up rooms, like on the bottom, like a little swim out. If you just want to swim right there, it's kind of cool. Scott Lair, Scott Lair, 1961. Twitter, Scott Lair, 1961. Instagram, thecruisegenius.com. Thanks for walking me. Like and subscribe. Check out all my videos.